here's a question. Um, the setup and it asks us to calculate, determine the values of PQ and R. And so we can all see here that after five seconds, the acceleration is zero and the speed of the car then remains constant. So we've got two sections here and we need to find these values here. Now, straight away, I know that R is going to be 18. So I can say that when T is zero, R is 18. So I've got that. But I also know that it's constant at this point here. So effectively, I've got my dv d uh, t equals zero at that point there. And that's how you do that. OK, so it's a whole idea that that at point is zero. So it's an extended minimum, as it were. And I know where the coordinate point of that is as well. So I need to differentiate here. So I get 2pt plus q. Um, and I know that equals zero. And I know that happens when t equals five. So I get 10p plus q equals zero. So I've got a relationship there. I need to find another equation in order to make it work. Well, I know the coordinate points there. So I know v is nine when t is five. So I can put that in there as well. And that then I can find, let's do that over here. I can find the value there. So that is nine equals five squared. So it's 25p plus five q plus r, which I know is 18. And so therefore take uh, 18 from both sides. So it's minus nine equals 25p plus five q. And now I've got two relationships here and I can then solve them simultaneously. I can do it on my calculator um, and that will make life a lot easier as well. So if I did that all on my calculator, on my flashy calculator here, simultaneous equations, I come out with values P equals nine over 25 and Q equals negative 18 over five. So part B says calculate the distance traveled between, uh, and this is the thing, it's between two seconds and 10. So it's between two and 10. Distance traveled is going to be the area underneath. And there you can see there are two parts here. This one is going to be five times nine. So that area is 45 meters. You'll probably get a mark just for that. And now we want to work out here. So we want to integrate between the limits of two and five of this um, one here, putting our values that we already know into play, gives us this. And then of course, put that into your calculator because um, it does it all now, doesn't it? And add that to the 45 and you'll come out with 75.24 meters. So again, it's just using that function button here which is incredible nowadays, because in my old days, we never had this. <laughs> in then days, we didn't have this at all. It's absolutely incredible that you can use that. You then can find your limit, add it to 45. There you go.